Hey everybody, here it is Drake here at 256 Garage. Wednesday review, show you what we got going on. Um, this morning, I come in, pre-primed the John Deere tractor hood. Got it primed. And uh, got this bedside primed on this Dodge truck. And I switched to the uh, Optima hood. We've been letting it sit for a few days let the primer dry good on it and i've got it blocked da it's ready to paint i started on the little acura getting it prepped i blocked the roof da'd it now i'm going to untape it and go around my edges good make sure they're sanding i've got to prep this rear door front door finish r and i and everything uh, daddy come in he got the fender sanded for the acre he gonna jam it out today um, as larry calls him our neighbor sparky's been back this week over here earning his nickname you see why larry calls him sparky every time larry comes in here he's creating sparks that's it but uh, I think we're to the point we're welding this stuff on this Camaro, ain't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, welding the wheel tubs, half of it, in right now. Got everything fitting pretty good, didn't we? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Get it all welded up. And we decided we're going to go ahead and weld it all up. And then, we, like I said, we've got a new roof skin to go on. And then we'll put the roof skin on because the roof skin overlaps everything anyhow. And it needed to be welded here like factory. To the structure and the roof skin covers that so we're going to go ahead and weld this first and then put the roof skin over the top of it his wife's doing all right she uh she did bone fractured wasn't it yes so yes. they got her in rehab hoping she'll uh heal up the bone will heal up itself yeah, trying to avoid more surgery you've been partying at home ain't you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been batching lately. <laughs> he's bragging about the meals he's been cooking. <laughs> Come in this morning talking about his tuna pasta he cooked up. <laughs> it's a good he ate every bit of it and didn't even bring us about to try. I had a whole skillet full. <laughs> I ate it all. <laughs> There's a little bit of what we got going on today. Uh, you can see we got the Comet back up on the rack. We've got the fuel line ran, started mounting the brake system on. We've got the disc brakes put on, the calipers put on, and uh, that's where we're at, trying to decide where we want to place the tab that holds the, that holds the line, trying to find exactly where we want to place it. We need some brake lines, but... Uh, like I said, there's that fuel line ran. It runs up the transmission tunnel. And, I don't know if you see it, but into the fuel rail there. There's the front brakes. Front brake lines. Like I said, we ain't decided where we're going to go with this yet. But, uh, that's where we're at on that. We're needing brake lines, get our electrical wire and stuff. So, because like I said, we want to drive this car and then tear it back apart and finish the body. I think Daddy, he's over here cleaning the paint booth out, putting new filters in it, getting it ready to paint with. We delivered the Honda Accord yesterday. Come picked it up. We got that little fusion out there. Been hitting the back. We got the parts. Part of the parts in today. So we'll get started. That rear body needs a little bit of a pull. And the deck lid needs to be lined up some. But it ain't too bad. The Chevrolet Silverado, it's finished. Waiting on pickup, I believe. And there's the old filters he's took out. Can you blow through them? <laughs> no. no. Then stopped up? Yeah. Mm. I guess it was time for them then, wasn't it? Look at this. Let's 
go see. Oh, look at them new filters. You can actually tell they're green. I think he's done some vacuuming in here. We're gonna have to repaint the floor. First time we painted it, we just painted it with regular old wall paint, interior paint, and it didn't last no time. So we need to, we're too cheap. Concrete floor paint, that's pretty high. So, <laughs> but we're gonna have to just pay for it and get it done. There you have it. This week at the 256 garage, like I said, it's midweek. Hopefully by the weekend we'll have uh, more stuff put together and go. See you next time.